Good morning everyone. I am doing a part four of the coins and I hope we find some rare finds. I really hope that. Like for so long I've been saying I hope I find a low tide 1902 penny. I'll show you why it's so rare. Because the low tide, this is how you recognise the tide. I'll get another penny. I oh, here's a nice example. Yeah, I can look at the 1912 Heaton again. Here, here's the tide. If it crosses with Britannia's legs, there where they meet, it's that's a high tide. If it goes under, if it goes under, if it goes under, for example, there, I think it's like a five millimeter difference. That's what I'm guessing. I don't think I'm correct, but I'm guessing that. So should we get on to it? Yes, we should. First one out of the cup, 1965. I'll put all the pennies in a pile. Um, the 1917. Mm. That's not as good. 1906. Yeah, we're doing an upgrade straight away. Third coin. Also, this is very loose and I'm very annoyed. So finally, I can change the upgrade. Oh, that's a bit sad, but you still put that in for an upgrade. Oh, that's still loose. That's annoying. What's the point in upgrading then? 1990. I'm sorry, but the comment is the uh, the comments are closed because I'm a kid. Maybe when I'm around sixteen, I hope you can comment. This is a nineteen sixty-seven. Nowhere near as good as my good ones. Sixty-four half penny. Fifty-nine penny half penny half penny. If we had a 1959, there's no such thing. 1953, 1961, there's no such thing. 1967, nowhere near as good as my best one. 1902, high tide. They, I think they can still be known on on the half pennies, high tide and low tide. 1967, nowhere near as good. Oh, what's this thing? What is that? Please like and subscribe if you know what this is. And one day, leave a comment. It's definitely a penny. That's so weird. I'm going to put it aside. I think it's a really old one. Like, I'm guessing it's from William and Mary. I'm guessing. This is... Should we, should we rinse it? Yeah, let's rinse it. Maybe you're like, don't rinse the coin. Don't rinse the coin. Later. Maybe I'll, I'll do it later at the end of the video. 1960. Also, if you watched it, uh, one of my videos... I said 18 minutes and 60 seconds. So I'm sorry if I said that if you saw that video. If I didn't, never mind. That was a 1967 penny. Also, if you see J coins on my videos, I'm actually Coin Boy because we looked up J coins and there was already someone who was called J coins. So, because my name started with a J. I I just turned it into J coins, but then there was already one, so I turned it into Coin Boy. 1943 half penny. What is this? I think this is a Victorian half penny. Maybe I'll put that there. So I'll rinse at the end of the video, and you can see me rinse it. Rinsing it doesn't mean polishing it. 1967. For example, putting a toothbrush on a coin and scrubbing it up, that's not polishing. 
1958 halfpenny. Oh, I think I hope we get a good find. I guess that's a no. 1945. Should I check which one's better? I think I know which one, but we need to check by the heads. Um, I'm gonna put it in the most light. Actually, there. There's the most light. Or I should put it right in front. Um, I think... Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep it. Oh. This is an 1892 one penny. Sometimes, like somehow, this re the seller, who's a bit annoying, guess what he did? He put, he put pe pe pieces of paper on the really valuable coins. Like the half penny. Not the really valuable coins. Like coins that I need. For example, in 1888 half penny, he put a half, like paper with a half on it. And I was like, oh. So I peeled it off and there was still some remains of it. Annoying. This is an 1884 penny. This is an 1892 penny, our second one today. 1921. I know it's not as good. 1959. If I turned that into a penny, it wouldn't. Done. 1904. I got this. This is like my fifth one, I think. 1938. 1937! 1937, not as many were made. 88 million were made. Should we check which one's better? This was the old one. This one is the old one, that's the new one. So we can do an upgrade! Hooray! Oh, what's this? 1889, my trillionth one. 27. Should we check which one's better? That's a bit bent, so I'm not going to put that in. That's a bit bent. 21. Yeah. 21. Nah. I just know. 1918. 1918? I don't have that, I don't think. Ooh. This is 1916. George the Sixth. What's this? 1912. Finally! No mint mark! I've had a trillion mint marks. Like 1912 people. I'll give you some examples. 1912 mint H mint mark. See? 1912 H mint mark. I'm going to try and find some more while you all look at those. And barely any of them are as... Look, finally, a 1912 no mint mark. What's the difference? Just one's way more common and one's rarer. Where, That's where's, the rarer where's the mint mark? The mint mark is right here. Right there at the corner of the coin. Oh, uh, you can't get to. Oh, I can't get too close. That's a bit not of a result. But still, it, it's not an upgrade, sadly. It might have been an upgrade, but I prefer the other one. 1944 half penny. 1966, three pence? That's not supposed to be in there. 57? I think that's the calm sea. Maybe that's the rough seat. I'll just put that aside. If I don't know between the difference. I'd say it's the calm seat. 1943 half penny. 1965. 
I'll turn that into a penny and I'll be like the happiest kid in the world. 1908. Should we check which one's better? Yes, we should. Yeah, always my 1905, 1906, 1907, 1908, and 1909, and 1910 are so bad. That one just fell out, sadly. What's one small detail? Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Oh, no, no, I'm going to put that upgrade. Yeah, just for you. Oh, I see a foreign coin in there. 1877 1P. Should we get the foreign coin out? Yes, we have. Five centimos. If you know what this is, because I have no clue about it, please like, hit the like button. Because I'm going to put that there. Farthing, our first farthing. 1943, not a result, because I've already got a million. Should we check? 1902, there is a difference between the high tide and the low tide. And I've been like, please, please, Lord, please, Lord, give me a low tide. Because they're actually very rare. They're very, very, very rare. 1902, low tide. <laughs> Why are you excited? What? It's a low tide and they are super rare. I don't think they're super rare. I'm definitely going to put that somewhere safe. And I, I will look it up in the spink book while you can see a bit of focus on it. Okay. Spink book, and just I ha I couldn't find the spink book, and I already looked up, and I saw it was seven pounds in this condition. I didn't look it up just now, but I looked up like an hour ago, I think. But I didn't find it. I normally have a little peek, and I seen this, but I'm not sure. 1902 one penny. This is cool. This is what you should find. This. I'm going to get a pocket. Well, I, I won't get a pocket. I'll do it at the end of the video. Just before I wash the coins. And whatnot. Oh, 1967. Little bit of a bend there. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. I just need to stack it up. Here it's, this is, mm, it's not as good, so I'll put it in the penny pile. Here is a 19, another 1967, not as good. This is a 1964, I'll check the upgrade. I'll check the upgrade. No, that's not an upgrade. Still, that was the highlight of my hunt. Still, even would I choose that one or that one? I think I'd choose that one. 1963. Nice. 58. Half penny. Those two were half pennies. 1959. Oh, my mum just got a little bit of water. Do you see here? There, so we're ready, packed up, for like for a journey holiday, 1963. I wish it was, come on, this would be nice. 1956, nearly the last one of the, of this, nearly the last one of the hunt in this video. 
1920. I haven't got that coin. Here, here it is. Now I've got four in a row. Four in a row. Here, the last one. It's always one of these. Always. It might not be always because you would say, oh, you're wrong. 1973. Well, right at the end. Now we will get the both really dirty coins and wash it in. Remember, it is not polishing the coins, but should I check if we got some? I'll just get, I'll just get this. Sorry to wait, for you to wait. Should we, I think there's some more rinsing need to be done because we still don't know. Oh, I can see Victoria Bonhent. I can see. What year was that? Um, I think, it's, yeah, 1860 to 1894. Okay, 1895, there was the veiled head. Do you want to see what the veiled head looks like? This is what the veiled head. I guess you're all saying yes, yes, yes. I want to see the veiled head. Uh, 1902. Should we check if it's a high tide or a low tide? Just this occasion, high tide. Should we see the difference? Let's see the difference on the same coin. So here is the low tide. No, um, I think that it's the other way. This is the low tide, that's the high tide. Oh, I'll just dry it because I put some wet on it. Here, 1902. You see it crosses with Britannia's legs right there. And here, it's a bit under Britannia's legs. I'm, I'll find a veil head now. So, they are quite... The veil head, they normally price it for high money. But it's not true. They're not really worth high money. 1901. This is the 1901 example. The last date. That's the year she died. 25th of January. So you think they're super rare, but look, I think they minted them for the whole year ongoing. Um, the 1901, look, even here, the 1900 is not as many were made as 1901. This was when she died. Also, here's, there's a veiled head example. It's called the veiled head. I sometimes call it the widow, widow, the widow head. Oh, I don't put it there. I'll just take that out the way. There. And now I will... Where's... Oh, where was that coin that I rinsed? Oh, here, here, here. I think it needs... Do you think... Like... Alright, I'll hurry up. I will hurry up. Because my mum keeps saying hurry up silently while she's miming. <laughs> she always mimes in my videos. Like, why mine? I think this is... Ooh! This is a George II, I think. That's nice! That's really cool. Oh, where was the other coin? Oh, here. No, that was the one. And this one. Let's find some more out about it. I think this is Victoria Bunhead. Yeah, that has to be Victoria Bunhead. Oh, if you said, oh, you're supposed to get the pocket for the for the 1902 low tide. Also, it was supposed to be a load of junk coins that this guy didn't want. And actually, I found a coin that he'd love. That is a Bunhead. You can't see it, sadly. That unidentified date... And unidentified both on these. So I hope you had a really good time and I will see you in part five. Also, um, I need to go to school right now. I had a really nice time. Such a nice time. I am still so excited with this coin. Still so excited. Mwah. 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 Bye. You think it's like very mucky, but it's actually, I'm pretend kissing. I'm kissing it in the air like, mwah, mwah. so it's not actually tight.
touching my lips. Bye.